Santa Claus and his reindeer are out at Balboa Park. All of the museums there are getting ready for December nights, which starts on Friday. And one particular exhibit caught our attention. Christmas ornaments so ornate and sparkly, they look like jewelry made by two San Diego artists. CBS 8's Anna Laurel takes us to the Timkin to get us into the holiday spirit. The Timken Museum of Art is especially spectacular this time of year. I'm going to give you our point of view when we opened the doors initially to see the jewels of the season. It took our breath away. It's a lot of the wow factor. Having over 900 ornaments on display, it's a visual feast. 900 intricate ornaments made by Florence Horde and Elizabeth Schlappi, now hanging from little trees, a big tree, even making their own chandeliers, creating that perfect Christmas magic in the central gallery of the Timken Museum of Art. The ornaments that you see, no two are alike. They created these ornaments just based on their imagination and their passions. Hord and Schlappi lovingly created these for 80 years, starting in 1959. They celebrate animals, culture and fashion, historic landmarks and things unique to San Diego. But it's how they designed and crafted these masterpieces that make them so striking. Each one is so unique. You have ones that are very whimsical and they celebrate Mickey Mouse and as I mentioned San Diego history and then you have ones that are very elegant and have gemstones and different filigree that the ladies collected. The Timken now owns the ornament collection, a treasure trove of pieces made with simple and intricate braids, enameled in glass beads, charms, trims, tassels, and gemstones. They are so ornate. They're held together just with pins. So if you look very closely, you can see the pearl pins. They did not use any glues when they were fabricating these ornaments, so they're very delicate. Each start with traditional silk wrapped balls, then the embellishments of beads, sequins, and fabric. I love I love this ornate one down here. Maybe it's because it, there are shades of it that remind me of some of our uh, paintings in the French gallery. Come pick your favorite if you can decide and do what many do. Take a Christmas picture in front of the tree. At the Timken Museum of Art, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.